Hey guys, Kid Guru here today for the Tech World. I have another video today on a cool utility that I found on a, one of my blogs that I like to read, uh, makeuseof.com. Um, it's really cool. I thought I should share it with you. Um, it deals both with it. when it was written as a post, is more dealing with security, but this can help you in tweaking your operating system, maintaining it, and um, like this can work very much in a security way. Now, it's from the site uh, Michelle, Miss Michelle, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Michelle Internet Security, that's a missec. Dot net. I'll give a link in the video description to the right to the download this. It's called Auto Start Explorer. It's basically a powerful, powerful explorer tool for everything that starts up any file, anything that runs in your um, startup. Now, this can be helpful as a tweaking and maintenance tool because you can check what's running at startup, what slows you down, you know, uh, description of the keys and everything that are running, stuff you want to stop, applications that are running, you know, kind of like you would in MS Fig. So you can see everything that's running right when your computer boots up, what commands, you know, what batch files. Um, so, you know, it really comes into tweaking uh, hands, so you know what to disable and stuff like that. But also security. Let's say your computer's acting slow all of a sudden after you download some, you know, suspicious file or anything like that. Or you just, you know, you, you have a feeling you've been in infected or something. You can check by seeing what starts up, like if some weird batch file or something it runs when you start up. You'll notice something out of the ordinary because it goes down to the weirdest locations. I'm talking about, like... It's really, really a cool tool. So you can download it, and once you download it, I'm going to go ahead and minimize it real quick. Uh, once you download it, uh, you get this right here, which is the Auto Start Explorer. Well, actually, you're going to get a zip folder. You just want to unzip it. You get all these four files right here. You want to go ahead and start the explorer.exe. No installation required. Just run the exe. And it's going to show you all this. So it's going to show you everything, all the auto started files that run up run so it's going to say the, a really good description so all the registry keys that are running these are the exact location um you know all the files that are running you can see my antivirus is running there uh so i can go into the startup folders and look under users to see what i run so i run my object doc at startup uh user int in it and this is all the it has all everything from the registry editor so active setup files that run so you can really narrow down something if you think something's running in a place that shouldn't be something suspicious, you know, something that's out of the ordinary. Uh, you can go to batch files, see what auto-executed auto batch files are in your operating system. The config.sys. Uh, and here's where you would go into more MS config and tweaking it. It shows you the services that start up. So let's say, you, you know, you may see something like totally, you know, you know some software you didn't install or some type of virus, a Trojan or whatever. You don't want that running. You can find the location. You can delete it. Uh, you can have it so it doesn't start up. It's really, really cool. Uh, so you can expand the tree columns. You can collapse them all if you don't want to view them all. You can actually open the folder from within this. So, uh, for example, here, let me go to the ICQ, not the ICQ auto load, sorry. Um, let me go to uh, the service applications because it's something more common. And I say I want to open this folder because I think this driver is something I didn't install. Even though it is a, it's a volume manager, I'll say open folder. And what happens is, if I did this correct, right? Is it working? Or maybe it's some folder, is it? Hang on. Let me try out something else. Are these things opening? Hang on, sorry, I'm just making sure these things are opening here. For some reason, they don't want to open. Are these the right? Yeah, the auto start file. So I can say, why aren't these opening in the folder? Hang on. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but should for, I don't know why, maybe I'm doing the wrong, okay, so properties, maybe it's prop, if you right click and go to properties, you can get the properties of an application, so for example, this is my AV guard, which is my anti -fear guard, maybe you can't open the folder to these sys files, let me try it with an application, this should work, or, yeah, there you go, alright, so if you, if it's an actual application, it will open, if it's an exe file, it'll open it, and I'll show you that this is the, in the Ant Vera. Uh, you know directory so you know where you know if you're really security conscious and you really want to narrow something down this is a great tool to use for both tweaking and just you know really managing what's starting up you know um, and a lot of times boot will be slow if boots really slow all of a sudden and you really didn't do anything it may be because you know some bloatware some crap or some viruses on your computer you can see what's starting up a really really great utility um, it's very small very you know uh, easy to use check it out auto start explorer hope you guys enjoyed it um, I'll leave the download link in the video description to the right thanks for watching